Well, 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 welcome back to Crypto Educator. You could have been anywhere, but you are tuning in to this channel right now. So, massive respect and thanks for that. Thanks for coming back to Crypto Educator. So, let's take a look at Bitcoin back again, guys. We are right there where we left yesterday, right? It's just been a straight line down without any volatility factor being something very prominent right here. 5% down move, but just a, just a slow volume sell-off going on back into some key areas of liquidity at 382 extension. First and foremost, at 37,000 and your next area of liquidity is at 36,000 so essentially the bias is going to be towards the upside your trend is going to be towards the upside until we are quite literally being supported by this entire zone right here now this zone is it's a big zone guys this, this is not a small zone this is going to be a big zone which is why i don't think you should expect a crazy breakdown or a crazy breakout right i've been talking about this since the previous three videos that the volatility is not quite there yet quite there yet so essentially the, the moves which are going to be coming towards the downside or the upside are most likely going to be your slow and steady sell-offs or slow and steady moves to the upside. Now, essentially, you are being held onto these levels right here. Let's see if we do have any hidden bullish divergence. Yes, we do have crazy amount of massive, massive, massive hidden bullish divergence as of now. Being supported by this level is a good news by Bitcoin itself. Essentially, you want to be closing your four-hour candles above $37,500 for today itself to confirm this entire piece of hidden bullish divergence between this point and this point right here, guys. You can see this is massive. This one is okay all right now this is a humongous piece of hidden bullish divergence between this point and this point so essentially if you get supported if you are not closing any four hour candles below this weak low right here let's be let's be extremely precise right all right so just to be extremely precise right here so until you are not closing any four hour candles below thirty seven thousand four hundred and seventy dollars most likely this hidden bullish divergence will play out and will take bitcoin all the way towards back again onto these levels guys to uh, five two thousand five hundred back again most likely so what could be a potential stopping factor as of now for bitcoin to go to the upside Essentially nothing guys, essentially nothing. It's looking pretty clear that for the day, for today itself, most likely we do get picked up from these levels and at least test these highs at 40,000 flat and then maybe try to go towards 42,000, right? So essentially for a 42,000 retest on Bitcoin guys, it's plain simple. 0236 extension right here sitting in at flat $40,000 Bitcoin, right? So essentially you want to close any 4-hour candle above this price point for a continuation move all the way towards $42,000 Bitcoin, right? Now guys, judging by the intensity of the sell-off right here, this was weak. This was very weak, right? Now, uh, whenever you see these kind of weak momentum waning moves to the downside, which is not having a lot of volume, essentially they do get reverted. They do get reverted and they do get, let's just say, capitalized by the previous commanding trend. And in this particular case, right here we are being commanded and directed by bulls by bullas right here so essentially until your structure is being supported onto these levels right here yes these small sell-off moves are essentially going to be your consolidations on bitcoin so by this what i'm trying to tell you guys is that entire eight percent down move coming from 42,500 all the way down towards 37,500 bitcoin is your consolidation essentially this entire zone is your consolidation guys now humongous 10 percent zone on bitcoin itself but yes this is your consolidation i don't think it's a breakdown or a breakout just getting supported on these onto these levels is probably a good news for today and tomorrow itself on btc right now all right so guys i don't think we have anything else to talk about on bitcoin on the time frames which are relevant right here oh, so daily not looking that nice to be honest with you daily time frame not looking that pretty so it's just the four hour time frame essentially which is looking okay which is looking fine which is telling us that we could be pulling out from this entire zone right here and going towards the upside right here but the 12 hour time frame is telling us something else guys now you can you can check it out right here so bitcoin is facing some resistance at the 12 hour 200 simple moving average right here so I think that essentially until we are trending above the 200 simple on the 12 hour time frame itself, your major directional bias, your bigger time frame directional bias is going to be consolidation to downside, right? Whereas your 4 hour time frame is telling us, is giving us little hints that we could start picking up from these zones and attempt a legitimate 12 hour candle closure about 40,000 back again, then we can push all the way towards these levels, guys. Now, the slope of the 200 simple moving average is towards the downside on the 12 hour time frame, which is telling us that it needs some more time. This piece of price action needs some time to let's just say to get reaccumulated on these zones and maybe put in a little curvature on the 200 uh, sorry 200 simple on the 12 hour frame itself and then we can talk about potential trend reversal back into these levels and ultimately fifty thousand dollars bitcoin right until that is happening until we are curving to the upside on the 12 hour 200 simple moving average most likely we do consolidate on the 12 hour time frame whereas the four hour time frame is telling us that we could 
potentially start picking up from these levels until we are holding out of these levels all right guys i think that was enough for bitcoin's analysis for the day let's see what's what's up with ethereum is ether right here so hard fork coming up tomorrow guys ethereum hard fork is coming up tomorrow and we are right at the 200 simple on the 12 hour time frame itself and well this piece of candle is essentially not a price action that i would really appreciate this was a bearish engulfing candle just negating all the gains from the previous two days right here cancelling out the entire bullish leg to the upside below the 200 simple on the 12 hour time frame itself although the posture of the 200 simple on the 12 hour time frame on ethereum is looking way better than bitcoin guys it's looking way better than bitcoin right now this is posture to the upside the slope is inclined to the upside i mean yes your yep one simple is looking way better than bitcoin itself believe it or not right here so uh, judging by this piece of price action we could be taking a look at eth btc as well for this video but let me just conclude this real quick guys i don't think we have much to talk about on ethereum back again the 12 hour support is right at 2400 guys now this is a simple follow-up from previous four videos i guess right this is your entire point of control right here if you keep if you lose 2400 on a 12 hour opening and a closing basis most likely yes this bearishness from the 200 simple on the 12 hour could start playing out and it could take ethereum all the way down towards well 2150 dollar levels right at this bullish cross which is happening as of now I, look guys this is not not really significant i guess this is between the 100 and the 55 nope 155 is not essentially your bullish cross which you want to be looking forward towards right now what you want to be quite vigilant about if i just take away the price action itself and only talk about the moving averages right here it's going to be this one guys it's going to be the moving average crossover between the 55 and the 200 simple moving average now this should clear a lot of things this should tell you guys a lot of things that why are we dealing with the choppy trend why is the why are those explosive moves coming on ethereum or anything else right because guys the 12 hour time frame even the daily time frame has a bearish cross right this is not a perfect bullish posture for the price action to keep on going to the upside keep on ripping to the upside until we see this until we see that base being formulated between the 200 and the 55 simple moving average as a bullish crossover to the upside most likely your biases are not going to be that extremely bullish guys it's going to be the price action essentially is not going to be that that crazy haywire to the upside it's most likely going to be consolidation right so let's put the price action back here back on again and until we are seeing this guys until look this is back enough uh, this is a no-brainer back again right so ETH perp ethereum perpetual contracts on ftx right here until we are closing back above the 200 simple on the 12 and i frame itself we can't expect any crazy bullishness of the price action itself and most likely we could consolidate here onto these levels with bitcoin's price action right okay so let's jump onto the four hour time frame i have to follow up with another piece of information which i've been telling you guys about right so this is the price action guys now remember i've been talking about the fact that how this price action is quite quite similar to this piece of price action right here and essentially we have started trending below the four hour 21 moving average itself now is is it a death sentence guys <laughs> no essentially not it's not a death sentence as of now but your immediate trend your immediate small time frame trend to the upside is now under jeopardy right so essentially you have your curve being towards the downside on the 21 21 simple moving average on the four hour time frame now until you are putting your candle above these price points and ma making this one curve to the upside most likely your trends or, or most all right let's let's just try to talk about simplified stuff right here this is going to be your rejection high $26,500 on a four hour opening and a closing basis is going to be your rejection high so if ethereum comes back onto these levels in the first and the foremost pass it is going to be a consolidation it is going to be a rejection in the first and the foremost go right and until we are going to be staying up below this price point let's just extend this one all the way towards these levels i think i have to save my charts i think i talked about this entire zone of rejection in yesterday's videos as well so until ethereum is doing us a favor and closing four hour candles above this entire zone right here most likely we keep on consolidating on these levels alongside the 55 exponential and oh, sorry not the exponential simple 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 moving averages right so most likely we do a consolidate on these levels and well talk about reaccumulation guys talk about reaccumulation on these levels right okay so i think we have a lot of assets to talk about in this video guys i did sort out a lot of assets for you so axie infinity axie infinity is holding on to these levels right so guys i made these levels back 
when Axie was breaking above the previous all time high, right? I made these levels according to this entire down leg and it's a no brainer right here, guys. The Fibonacci expansion towards 1618, 2618, 4236 and ultimately 10764. And the price action is kind of working according to according to these zones, right? It's, it's, not, it's not completely accurate, but it is kind of giving you a good perspective in the price action itself, right? So it really simplifies a lot of things for Axie Infinity itself. And this one is telling us that until we are holding these levels, guys, $35 on Axie on to the 4.236 extension to the upside. Now, this is a blue sky breakout for you guys. Uh, right out of this all-time high, let's just say right out of this bullish engulf candle after the all-time highs, your 4.236 is your key area as of now, guys. And this one has been your key, uh, key areas for the previous two weeks itself. So, consolidating on these levels is good. I mean, this piece of price action is nowhere close to what an asset formulates when it's trying to put in a reversal piece of price action. Now, this is not reversal. This is just consolidation. And Axie, believe it or not, is looking completely fine on these levels, guys. Now, after going for a 10x, is this a 10x or a 20x? I guess this has already gone up. <laughs> crazy gaze guys 1700 percent right in front of our eyes right here for axie infinity and the first video i made on axie was right here now was i long on axie right there no guys to be honest with you i was waiting for that massive pull off uh, pull off pull back to come down all the way towards 6.2 dollar levels but guess what i kept on waiting for this one to happen and it did not happen guys it did not happen right it simply went to the upside and when it kept on ripping to the upside i was not fomoing i was not trying to enter into axie infinity guys and i'm still not into axie infinity although this is a good speculation right here and i do feel that this is good piece of price action guys this is good piece of price action whenever you see the three day super trends under formulation i'm talking about your three day rsi above 60 guys three day rsi being above 60 are your super trends and this is one thing i keep on reminding to myself as well like i, I i've written this down somewhere and i keep on looking at these things right so essentially you don't have to be afraid with these kind of super trends the three day rsi super trends this is a term which i just made guys i mean now essentially i don't think there's anything called as a super trend on three day rsi something like that but i feel in context of the price action whenever your rsi is one to situate above the 60 reads that is when the asset is potentially formulating a super trend to the upside right now essentially when these events are actually coming to fruition they're actually happening let your risk management do the thing and don't be afraid of them and just just go ahead with that right now this is something which i didn't do for myself this is something which i didn't do for myself and this is something which i am going to be reminding to myself again and again to not to be afraid of the three day super trends on any asset for that matter and this is still ripping to the upside guys i don't i, I don't see any top under formulation right here this is strength this candle right here is strength as of now and until we are closing at least below the three day 10 simple moving average on on the three-day time frame, most likely we keep on ripping to the upside, guys. The four, two, three, six is going to be holding this price action, and most likely we do make our way all the way towards eighty-seven dollars. Axie Infinity, holy shit, man, holy shit. Now this entire move to the upside, if we go towards eighty-five dollar level, is going to be a three thousand percent move to the upside. Now that's crazy, guys. That's crazy. So that would mean one dollar in and three hundred dollars out. Wow, isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy, right? I think I did, I, or I, I don't know. That would be $1 in and $30 out, not 300 I guess. <laughs> All right, guys, now this is one is still ripping to the upside, and let's just conclude with the price action right here. So until you're getting reaccumulated with this entire zone sitting on to $35 levels, Axie is completely looking fine right here. And most likely we keep on trending and sliding all the way towards 7 or 6 when it at first, and 10 or 7, 6, 4 sitting in at $87 per Axie. Isn't that crazy, guys? Holy crap. We are witnessing a crazy bull run happening on to an NFT token where most of the crypto landscape is not that bullish guys this is crazy this is a complete outlier and hats off to the price action right here this is crazy piece of price action truly appreciative right okay so next up what do we have all right guys for some reason shiba inus were trending on coin market cap today right now i i, I couldn't stop myself and i I want to take a look at the price action stuff. So just to talk about the zones of interest right here, I can see crazy humongous amount of support now. I said, yeah, this one is tether. This one is against tether. And guys, look, I can't even call out this number right here. I think this is this is this is negligent amount of <laughs> I, I don't know what to call this one. This is not even Satoshi. This is dollar values right here. 0 0.0000619. All right. I don't know what to call this one, but 
just by looking at the price action structure right here i think this one is looking this one is proving out to be a good one guys as of now as of now although i do not have any hopes from this piece of price action right here because if we zoom out on this one this is ugly this is this is gigantic piece of shit guys now ever since this one got listed on binance see why you know got listed on binance this is down 88 percent now that's crazy guys that's crazy and essentially if an asset is down 88 percent that does not mean that it's a buy it's a, it's a fire sale going on i don't think guys I, I you should not think like that right a lot of youtubers down 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 this entire crypto web are trying to tell you that oh my god this is a fire sale you're getting this asset for 80 percent less it's a fire sale bye 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 no guys I, I i think it's a wrecked behavior back again it's a complete wrecked mentality this is not how you look at these assets this is a macro bear trend guys on binance right on binance this is this is a complete wrecked behavior on the price action itself and i don't think guys anything can stop shiba inu from going down even further for about i don't know guys even 90 percent down from these levels right so if you lose these levels of the downside on a daily closing basis i don't know even i don't even know what to call this one then you will just keep on dripping to the downside guys and maybe just go for a 99 percent correction from the exact high let's just let's just try to pinpoint what's going to be a 99.9 percent .9 correction all right not certainly not a hundred percent <laughs> okay so 99.9% .9 is going to be taking you to $4 satoshis guys i don't even know what to call this one right here but all right so losing this support to the downside is not going to be good news for shiba in itself and is it a good investment right here fundamentally if you want to compare this one to dogecoin yes guys fundamentally this is a better investment than dogecoin itself because this one believe it or not has an entire DeFi ecosystem going i think in their DeFi ecosystem you got bones you got leash you got um i don't know you got you got dog killer that's called leash i guess I, is, is this a stupid fucking crazy ecosystem going on guys this is complete madness and to be honest with you in the grand scheme of things these small little things don't make a lot of sense to be honest with you and i don't think as a whole when this entire crypto market has crazy amount of opportunities guys i don't think shiba inu could be a better investment could be a good investment for that matter right maybe take a look at solana ecosystem they do most of the projects which are out there in solana ecosystem actually have a work in product in hand actually have things which are being used by a lot of people guys and on the other hand you got that bsc ecosystem going on which is just, all right I, I, okay let's just let's just not talk about this anymore i think shiba inu on Poloniex has a lot of history going on if I'm yes this one right here guys this one right here so this is why I was talking about four satoshi dollar or something like that right because that is your support guys after you lose this one to the downside you're going to be going down for another 80 90 percent I guess yep you're going to be going down for another 80 percent to the downside so just just maybe pray to bull jesus that or, or maybe pray to shiva you know jesus that you do hold on to these legends some somebody comes in with a crazy amount of funds right here to buy this one out onto this support level and maybe take the price action all the way towards upside but essentially if nobody is coming to buy shiba inus on these levels this is not looking nice guys series of lower highs again and again even if we come all the way towards these price points on shiba against usd right here this structure will still be bearish guys you can see a series a series of lower highs right here but back to back right here back to back lower highs right so un so even if we come all the way towards these levels it could be another lower high and we could be trending down back again on these levels i guess right so i think that's been it about shiba you know pretty bearish looking um uh, technical analysis for you guys right here let me know down in the comments if you're holding any dog related coins guys i would be really <laughs> i would be really amused to know what kind of dogs are you trying to breed in your own crypto portfolios right let me know that down in the comment section okay so next we have cardano's guys now another piece of completely confusing piece of price action to be honest with you right here it's 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 holding on to dollar levels guys now i've been making videos on cardano back to back entire like throughout this down like i've been talking about cardano again and again right so just to conclude just to summarize before even starting the ta itself on cardano guys we are still in a downtrend so until we are taking this level to the upside essentially this one is on the 12 hour time frame and ethereum is already here i i i 
all right so if you do have a potential up leg on cardano coming up because ethereum is already here guys the 200 the 12 are 200 simple right this is looking as clear as it can get ethereum is already here so maybe cardano accelerates all the way towards these levels as this structure is looking fine guys on the 12 hour time frame itself is looking completely fine now the real retest comes here right the real retest comes here so your 12 hour trend essentially basing above the 1.45 dollar levels is going to be good for cardano in the coming days and the week itself because this could mean that we are reverting a real trend we are we are trying to put in a real trend on ad against usd right so until the 12 hour trend is setting above 1.45 dollar levels most likely this is going to be a sell back again the first and the foremost pass right here on these levels right and maybe we test these levels to the downside at 1.7 dollar levels guys to be honest with you the price action on cardano completely depends on bitcoin completely completely depends on bitcoin and ethereum as well for that matter guys i do believe that that's the case uh, sometimes 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 cardano would want to behave in its own universe but essentially that is when that is your special kind of market dynamic environment when everybody is just buying crypto assets, right? I, I don't think that's the case as of now. I, I think the market dynamics have quite changed as of now. So most likely Cardano's general price action behavior is going to be something like Bitcoin on Ethereum itself, right? So if we just compare with Ethereum, guys, this is your area of interest happening on a $1.45 levels on Cardano. Until we are clearing this one to the upside, um, I don't think we can get ahead of ourselves and talk about these levels. But yep, these levels are going to be your target in the coming days. First and foremost is going to be this one after you clear this one, guys, remember. And the next one is going to be this one and so on and so forth, guys, so on and so forth. So real quick, let's just take a look at ADA guys, BDC, what's happening there as well um not much not much to do all right all right so as of now the price action is getting supported by the 55 simple moving average on three three time frame itself and well guys to be honest with you this moving average is relevant this moving average is relevant we're talking about three time frame we're talking about macro time frame itself and you're looking at the price action bouncing from a macro moving average right so this bounce could potentially mean new trend for Cardano against PT itself. But I, I I think that this is not that bullish, guys. I, I To be honest with you, the overall picture is not that bullish, right? So let's just take a look at this rejection right here. It came down all the way towards 37% down like, okay, all right. Pretty interesting guys pretty interesting right here okay so i don't really have much to talk about much to conclude on cardano itself but judging by the price action on ada btc until ada is holding these levels on the btc pair essentially or 3100 satoshi levels on ada btc okay all right motherfucker started vibrating right between the video all right so until ADA is maintaining a trend above these price points right here, most likely this is going to be completely aligning with your $1 support on ADA USD, right? So two confluence support, two areas of confluence on ADA BTC and ADA USD itself aligning onto some key levels. So right here is your support guys on ADA BTC. So until we are being, until we are being held by this entire moving average and this entire price action structure, most likely ADA keeps on trending to the upside and ADA BTC most likely tests retest the 21 simple itself on three time frame right now that's going to be your 10 percent move to the upside and that could be your potential retest on the ada usd 12 hour time frame 200 simple moving average right here on these levels now is this a 10 percent move to the upside i think it's less than that but yep guys yes so, 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 you, so you can see right here for today and tomorrow most likely cardano sets in a base right here and heads all the way towards 1.5 dollar levels right now could could be looking nice could be looking nice and your rejection and your structural rejection could be your 12 hour candle closure below your 1.29 dollar levels on area itself all right guys so do we have anything else to talk about on this video nope i think we are pretty much done right here and okay <laughs> all right all right i think we're pretty much done right here so guys let me know down in the comments if you're holding any doggy coin or any doggy related crypto asset and we will be taking a look at that in the video coming tomorrow itself until then i'm gonna take a leave right here and catch all of you in the next video coming tomorrow itself bye for now